Here's Peugeot at the Paris Motor Show. You're exhibiting the 308cc, which we'll see as a, a practical car in the showrooms in the spring. You're also exhibiting three very, very striking concept cars with hybrid drive. What's Peugeot trying to do through design here at the Paris Motor Show? I think, uh, as, as you know, there's a, there's a really big tendency to come back to uh, uh, certain values that we've explored before in the past in automotive design, aerodynamics and also uh, economical ways of uh, propelling the cars forward. Uh, we have three concepts which are hybrids, uh, very powerful statements. Uh, one car which has 200 horsepower, the other with 300 horsepower, with uh, 109 grams of CO2, so it's pretty, pre pretty high-tech technology. And from a design point of view, um, we have two different uh, concepts which uh, look at how we can package these kind of things. Within design, within Peugeot, one of the most important things that we look at in any, any design is the balance and the shape, the, the forms of the cars. If I take the prologue, the prologue is it's, it's almost a kind of laboratory of ideas. Uh, from a styling, styling point of view, we have a, an SUV crossover image. And with this, with this particular car, we have the wheels nicely placed, nicely balanced with the flats on the wheel wheel arches, the sill line which is lifted, so this gives the security and the, the, the kind of uh, feel for the SUV. If you look at the, the A pillars on the car, they pushed really far forward, forward windscreen, the cab forward look again from Peugeot, which gives this immense sensation of uh, volume, space, in French we say uh, luminosity inside the car. And the third aspect to an hybridation of the, the actual concept is the poster conduit, the dashboard. The dashboard itself is, is like a fighter plane uh, layout with the console very, very high, uh, sloping uh, central console, head up displays, perfectly designed, ergonomics, and uh, obviously a, a, a dynamic driving position. So within this one concept, the prologue, uh, there are so many things that have come together with the technology to back it up. Now, Peugeot, we know, have always been strong in the scooter market, and you've got a pretty amazing little design over there, uh, the scooter. Yeah, it's fantastic. And, you know, there's not that many companies in the world that they can say that they have also motorcycles and cars within the same, within the same group. Obviously, there's Honda and there's BMW, but Peugeot, of this branch and uh, for the future we'd like to explore our designers, our in-house designers within direction for the, for the, the, the scooters and uh, try to really uh, bring this forward in, in, within the company. And this particular design is interesting because it's, uh, as you've seen, it's a covered kind of vehicle. It's fairly wide but it's narrow enough to still nip through the traffic and you have the, the minimum protection over the, over the roof. Uh, also, you can carry a passenger on the back, which I think is one of the first uh, uh, scooters to, to do this. You've also got a racer that's too clever to race. It's a hybrid-powered racer, uh, and the regulations don't even exist for it. We know you're very strong in diesel racing and Le Mans, things like that, but this hybrid one, very clever idea. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting project, and it's something that's been really nicely developed. Um, it's, this is what Peugeot is all about for us. You know, we can... We can design cars which have this kind of emotion and put the technology in it as well to back it up. With Boris Reinmoller, who is the designer of the RCHY hybrid concept car here at the Paris Motor Show. Boris, it's a beautiful car, a wonderful finish in this Metalure finish that you've got for it. But what are you trying to say with this car? What are you trying to do? Uh, we wanted to express thank you first for the compliment. We wanted to express uh, some, uh, the design, future design of Peugeot with this car. We wanted to uh, ex express what we're going to do in the future in terms of finishing and in terms of design solutions and detail. A car like this, it's a beautiful design exercise. What does it say about the way that Peugeot is going for the future? We're trying to be more express expressive in, in emotional ways, try to be more sculptural, try to be um, as, as uh, dynamic and automotive as possible. And um, this is our latest language, which we try to transfer also to future projects. With Pierre-Louis Collin, who's Managing Director of Peugeot in the UK, the 308's been a tremendous success for you in the UK. We've had the three-door, we've had the five-door, we've had the station wagon, the SW. Now we're getting the CC, the convertible, and that for you must be the icing on the cake. 
This is a very, very important moment for us because, uh, as you know, CC, we've been the, the brand who introduced CC uh, in mass uh, for, for the, the general public uh, with Tour 6 CC uh, some time ago. This is the fourth uh, version of a CC in a range. It's absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. It's uh, uh, really uh, something which is expected very, very much by, uh, by all the dealers, by all our customers, and I'm sure it will be a tremendous success uh, on the UK market. Now, when we know it's going to arrive in the spring, What's it going to mean to Peugeot out there for the dealers, for the customers, just as we go towards the summer in England in 2009? So, uh, first of all, uh, I, I, I hope it will bring some uh, sun back uh, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to next summer. Um, I think that the, uh, the importance of a car which is extremely strong in terms of image is something important in the current conditions we are going through because um, uh, Peugeot image probably in the recent years uh, did suffer a little bit on the market. I think that uh, since we introduced 207 we see that uh, we are gaining back again uh, some ground but we need really strong image product like 308 CC to push ahead the, the, the brand again as it used to be maybe in the, in the past. Now you're a designer, you're not a businessman as it were. We do live though in pretty interesting economic times. What does it mean to you to be showing such a confident front to the world in terms of design at a show like this, at a time like this? The Paris Motor Show is our motor show and it's here where we have to show the world what we're capable of doing. Um, from a design point of view, we know that the first aspect often to sell a car is in its design. So within the, within the company, obviously, uh, there's been a lot of resources placed and belief in the design department, along with the engineers and the marketing. And I think the show today shows the statement of confidence, which you've mentioned, uh, that we're confident for the future, that we can still maintain the dynamic projects and, uh, and advance forward uh, for the future.